Hey, hey, hey guys, Old Man G here, back again with another match preview and it is West Ham versus Manchester United, our away game to the Hammers and as the title says, smash the Hammers, smash the Hammers, um, that's what we've got to do, even though I don't actually think we're going to do it, but um, we've got to try at least, you know, we, we, we really, we've got, we've got to try, um, so I'm just going to jump straight into it and just jump straight into the lineup actually, the back four Five actually speaks for itself. David De Gea in goal. Um, Ashley Young at left back because, um, well, actually, well, Ashley Young at left back because obviously Shaw is injured. Dallow is fit. And there's a question of should Dallow play left back? Now, personally, for me, I think that Ashley Young should play left back because. As ridiculous as this sounds, I still think Ashley Young is a better defender than Diego Dallo. There were still quite a few things that I saw um, last night against Astana that I was like, hmm, from a defensive point of view. Um, that So I think anyway, irrespective, I think Ashley Young will start. Um, and to be honest, if he starts, it means he's captain, which means that a certain someone won't hopefully be starting. And I'll get to him later. Um the two centre back pairings are fine. Maguire and Lindelof, that's going to stay the same. Although I think Axel Twansibi had a very good game yesterday and could make a push, especially if Lindelof makes a few more errors. Because um, for one, Axel is actually taller than Lindelof. He's actually getting a bit bigger, and I think and I think is is uh, is, is is at least an error of threat. So um, that's something. To be to be frank, Axel would have won those headers in the air. He he would have. Um, Wamba Saka picks himself. He's basically our designated right back, and I think he's going to have a lot to do um, in this game. So um, fingers crossed he'll be okay. Now here's where things get interesting from here on out. Um, Fred, I actually think that Fred had an okay game, and I still think that Fred, if you had to pick, I'm sure most United fans would would agree. If you had to pick between Fred and Matic, it should still be Fred. Yes, maybe he didn't have the he wasn't like amazing, but I think in that DM role, I think I think especially with the injuries that we have, because you know, just so that everyone's aware, Pogba, Martial, and Shaw are not playing. They're out for the game. They're out for the game. There's no Pogba. Um, there's no uh, Martial. There's no Shaw. Um, so that leaves us very, very, very short in our midfield, as we know. Matic can come in there, but to be honest, I just think that. Having Matic in that team, especially with what is going to be a West Ham, quite a physical side, we need a player who is quick, who is tenacious, um, and who can also be physical as one. Well. Fred can be. So I suggest that Oli plays Fred in that role. You have McTominay and Pereira either side of him. Um, you could argue Matic could come in there, but I think, again, for a game of West Ham, I think we need... Um, we need we need to really go on the front foot. Um, you could argue... Possibly, maybe, um, um, you could bring back... So, what you could do, and do have a have a, have Fred and McTominay as the holding midfielders, Mata playing as a number 10 with James and Greenwood on that. That's also an, an, an option, an option that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer might make. Um, but we'll see. Um, I, I wouldn't. I, I'd be, I think I'd be. I'd be okay with that, actually. I, I would be okay, actually, because I think Mata... As long as Mata's not playing on the right... We've got a chance, but if he's as he's playing as number ten, I think he's 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 actually solid as a number ten. Moving forward, um, again, interesting. I think Daniel James. I think although he wasn't featuring, Daniel James should be fit to play because, frankly, where we're we going to get our goals from at this rate, he seems to be the only one that seems to be scoring them. Um, so Daniel James will be on the left on on the left. I suspect, especially with Marshall still being injured. Um, then here's where giving is interesting. I I think, in my opinion, Greenwood should start. That's my view. That's my opinion. I think he can create for himself. I think that, while again, he didn't necessarily have the best of games, Lingard has had his chances. Uh, and I think that there has to be some competition for places now. And even if uh, Greenwood isn't banging them in, if he at least makes a decent uh, performance, then he should start. Um, and then, of course, Lingard can then come off on the bench and make it and and and, and make an impact that way. So I think personally that Greenwood should start, and it'll be interesting to see whether Oli does start Mason Greenwood or not. Um, then we come to our boy Rashford. Um, Marcus Rashford, to be honest, has played too many games. Um, his form has dipped, 
But I also think that his form dipped in part due to how many games he's played. I mean, people forget because people are saying, United fans are saying, you know, Marcus Trashford, etc. People forget, one, he's only 21. They also forget that, frankly, Rashford's been playing games from... So, he was playing all under the Mourinho regime. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer regime is as well. Bearing in mind that the, the latter half of that season, he was playing with an injury and the other players like the Marshalls and those people were injured. Um, after the the, uh, the the previous season ended, he was in the Nations League again as well, playing there, back to this season, playing most of the games. So he's constantly playing games and he really needs to rest. And the fact is, and that, and we should commend that to away because the fact is everyone's saying we should drop him, play green, do all these other things. The rise at one, you're relying now on a 17-year-old kid to bag goals in. Okay, so that's number one. You know, we're putting a lot of pressure on that guy to perform. So that's so that's 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 what one reason. The second thing is is that the the we have to well, the fact that there's so many fans were saying Lukaku, Sancho, etc. means that our forward options are very thin. One more injury to Martial, incredibly thin, and Marcus Rush is essentially having to he, he has to play effectively because there are no other options. Aside from Greenwood, there are no other options, you know. So, you know, it's not his fault is the point I'm trying to make. It's, in part, it's mostly the board's fault, arguably. Um, I would argue there's an element of fans' fault in wanting the Kaku gone without getting a replacement. Well, that, that's arguably the board's fault. Um, I won't go on a rant here, but essentially what I'm trying to say is that is going to play. Um, we might not like it, but... There isn't really much choice in the matter. Yes, you could play Gruden up top, um, but he's going to play. It's as simple as that. Rashford, Rashford is going to play. Anyway, sorry, that was a bit of a, a, a long rant there. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So, yes, this is why I suspect that, or hope that the lineup will be. Um, the only change like I said I would see is that Pereira comes out and Mata comes in, which is a possibility, and then Mata hopefully would play in the number 10 role with James and Greenwood, or most likely Lingard, on the other side, with Fred McTominay um, as as the holding midfielders. Um, that's possibly what, what 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 could happen, which could still work, I think, because West Ham are not going to be a team, and I should talk about West Ham, because West Ham obviously have started very well as well. Um, um, I wouldn't say incredibly well, but they've, they're a lot more solid than they were than, than they've been in previous seasons. West Ham, however, are not going to be a team that are going to be like the Burnleys and the Wolves and the Crystal Palaces in that respect. They're just going to defend really deep and not allow any space, especially at home. They're not they're not they're not going to do that at all. Um so we should anticipate that we should get a bit more space in this game, space to run to the likes of Greenwood if he plays, Rashford and so on, um can basically get involved. Um the only thing that you would say is can we win the midfield battle? Do we have a strong enough midfield that we can basically win, you know, we can basically win the midfield? You know, West Ham right now have eight points. They have the same number of points that we have. They did, they did lose their first game, but since then they've drawn uh, one, two and drawn again. So the fact of the matter is that if we lose to West Ham, West Ham will leap ahead of us. You know, that that is essentially what's going to happen. They will leapfrog ahead of Manchester United and we will be... At most likely, if we lose to West Ham in the bottom of the table, so we do need the result against the Hammers. It's going to be tricky. On the hindsight, is is that if certain results go our way, if we beat obviously West Ham, is even that Liverpool beat Chelsea, for example, will be three points clear clear of them. Arsenal same as well, depending what happens with them, Spurs and so on. So there's a possibility to gain a bit of momentum by beating West Ham. Um, but it's re- it's not going to be easy, I and mean, it is very 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 tight um, at, at in in the table right now. Although only five games have gone, um, do I think Ma- West Manchester United will get a result? My score prediction right now um, is is a one nil. Um, that is basically what that's essentially what I think will happen. I think that much like the Leicester game, it's going to be scrappy playing against West Ham. All the time is always going to be scrappy, and the most important thing is that we need to be physical. We really, really need to be physical against these guys um, because they've got physical players. 
um, that can basically cause us problems. Um, and one of the problems of Manchester that we've seen is that um, we uh, we we we've, um, we have that we have that issue. Um, they did obviously play on Monday. Just gone. They, I think they drew with Aston Villa. Um, with I think Masasoko, who's one of the players who's got got a red card. So, you know, they did draw against Villa, mm, but they'll be at home. So yeah, we'll we'll see. We we will see. Thanks again for listening, guys. Please like, share, and so like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, We United X. Have a nice evening, guys, and cheers.